kept all of the followers. One of yes. the greatest moves I've ever seen. If you don't know, Melee Hell used to be a large entity in the scene. Like, Melee Hell was a Facebook group dedicated to just troll posting and posting memes and being toxic. And that was a Facebook group that everyone was just a part of and they would see. And then Kevin Maples, a teenager at the time, yes. created then, okay, I'll make my next leg of it, the Instagram version of Melee Hell, where I'll, where I'll post that kind of stuff too. And then, yeah, you're right, just switched it to his personal Instagram. So baller. That people did not like. Yeah. Kevin Maples, if you don't know, um, is top 64 off the previous rank or something like that. Yeah, I know that. top 100 the last few years. Number one in MDVA has I... Okay, let me just say, proud dad moment. I th I should take this moment. I don't get to commentate Kevin Maple sets. I am so proud of him because he was a little brat. <laughs> he was a huge twerp, and he has really grown into a strong, reliable uh, community member with his a strong head on his shoulders, a really giving spirit, and has stepped in to run stream, run brackets, make sure things are organized, do the PR panel, and it, he's just become such a great asset to the region, and like we're all really proud of of him whenever he does perform. So I know he's got a lot of pressure on him this weekend, yeah, uh, because he knows he's in his home and he's really been identifying with MDVA in the past couple of years. So I hope that uh, doing well versus Trihawk and pools will be a sign of good things to come for Kevin. But that is not to count out Trihawk here, um, the White Marth on the other end of the setup. Yeah, and we are in round one pools, but due to the fact that we are almost two hours into this block, like we are getting into the matches that qualify these players for the top cut of singles. Yes. And so we don't know if this is winners or losers. This may be the tournament life for both players to even qualify out of pools. Yeah, I would find that hard to believe with how good these players are. Um, this might be the winner side qual, but that is still something to keep in mind as we're watching these matches. Yeah, that's right. Like we, ha As we've been progressing through the block, you will see the competition heat up more and more. Kevin goes for that crazy Cody angle, and the down tilt actually seals it. Yeah, and Trihawk, really strong opening here. Um, I mean, it's Marth Fox. Uh, people, the chat can say what they want about this matchup. Um, we have been seeing a lot of top foxes literally switch uh, yeah. and get secondaries or tertiary characters yeah. to combat this matchup. But Trihawk is playing how you're supposed to be playing this matchup. Yeah. I, I think there is a lot to be said about taking what is solved. You know, you don't have to reinvent the wheel on a lot of these things. You should, the reason why the, the, the matchups are good are the things you should have in addition to what you bring to the table. Ooh, nasty little down tilt there from Kevin. It, it, it gets like the backwards not back later, but is able to get the kill confirmed like, you know, five seconds afterwards. But a really cool extender and like kind of an unexpected knock up that I don't know if Trihawk was, you know, reading the DI for or yeah. anything like that. Yeah, but they're both like on. I'm seeing really small neutral interactions or really small interactions happening within the combos. Like Trihawk hit uh, an SDI on the up air onto the platform. Kevin Maples reacted to that and continued to the left side of the platform. That's an up smash drill. Oh reset, upset, up smash on the left side of plat uh, Battlefield platform. Shades of Lucky West Ball's big house. It started on the right platform too with Kevin reading Trihawk, wanting to approach from underneath. Yeah. Held shield, shield dropped afterwards and dragged Trihawk across to the left side oh, of the stage to finish yeah. it. Yeah, I love that. I love that. It is so much harder to do in 2024. Really nice wave dash out of shield to punish F smash. Is that death? Not quite yet. Um, in 2024, people SDI that. You can SDI that off the platform, uh, but when you get people off their footing, it can still work. And I like the little, the ba I believe that's a... Bandit? Is that a bandit tag? I like that. We've been seeing some cool tags today. Oh. Oh, this is uh, winner's quarters of this pool, yes. Ooh. So does that mean they qualify? Uh, yes, winner of this moves on in winners. Okay, cool. Yes. Yeah. Loser of this will drop down into losers and will have one more chance to fight uh, for a spot in that top cut. But Kevin looking really strong with the three stock going into game two. Yeah, and it started like really in Trihawk's favor. That first stock was really clean. Uh, I believe like a 40% stock. Like, mm, and Kevin just turned it on immediately from the get-go. That is, uh, Kevin is just really consistent and really clean. He pulls oh. off these punishes that you're just like, I guess, yeah. 
I guess yeah, that is right to do. I can't. I you did it. You know, yeah, like, I, I do agree with like the lucky comparison. I, I I am seeing a little bit of lucky come out of here. Mm -hmm. I think in neutral, um, it's like sort of like the young Lethem as okay. well. Like the he'll go for the things that work without overcomplicating it necessarily. Where Lethem was like, you guys should just up tilt. You guys should wave dash in and up tilt more frequently because that's simple, but it's the correct thing to do. Um, and I think Kevin has really strong fundamentals in that sense, too. But the combo, ooh, so clean. So fast and so clean. Ooh, nice little get off me aerial right there from Trihawk. But the edge card's still continuing. And holds ledge again. That's the second time nice. Kevin got that so far. Wow, and we are four stocks to one. Kevin's feeling pretty good. Um, and we'll see. Have to see how Kevin wants to put on this early percent at uh, when Trihawk is at zero. The weight still <laughs> does not expect the get up attack. Ooh, the sour hit of down smash still combos into F smash though. Or yep. down air. Has the, the option two to cover. Oh, cheeky little shine. Ah. But Trihawk goes too low, is not able to recover. And that was a. Is that a JV4? It was a JV4. Yeah. Congrats, Kevin. JV7 stock if you want to get a little funky with it. Yeah. Wee. Does Kevin still dabble uh, in the Falco at all? I know that was a switch at some not point. Not really. Okay. Not really. Fox has been pretty consistent. I think he's been spreading himself kind of thin anyway with a lot of the organizing mm -hmm. and bracket running yep. and streaming. So it's just been Fox. Um, and even with all of that and just Fox, he's been struggling to like really dedicate the time that he would like to. Yeah. But I think that Supernova might be a really nice opportunity to get back into it, especially as he had had the opportunity to travel to SoCal Star League, thank you to Eamon, um, for getting him out there and exploring the, the West Coast. Because Kevin has been sort of region locked yeah, yeah, for a yeah. while. Because what, region locked Midwest originally, right? Uh, no, Midwest of Virginia. No, uh, where was Kevin? Wasn't Kevin from like Michigan or something originally? No, no, Always no. MDVA. Always MDVA, oh. but in Winchester. No shot, really? Yes. Oh, that is crazy. Oh, right, I forgot. Shout yeah, out yeah. to Winchester, lived there for a few years. That's right, yeah. which is not a big melee scene. No, uh, I would say it is a negative, <laughs> less melee player. Yeah, it, it's not really there. much of a scene of anything. 